Michael Sherman. I think you know how this goes. What the fuck I do? What the fuck you do? Don't mind us. Bring me some answers. I'll give you back your lieutenant. But Red's gone. Duda has sunk his teeth into Jake. And I know a lot of people considering everything that has happened over the last five days in America, probably the shy and his writers are going to see more people being more empathetic to Duda because of understanding the way you have to make it in America. He's probably going to be more popular this season. And we're going to discuss his role in helping Jake get an organization started in season three of The Shy. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when we drop videos, you get them. If you're frustrated and want to show your support, go to shoplifegains.com. Check out these tees I got, I Can't Breathe, The Reason Why He Took a Knee, and check us out live tonight at 9 p.m. Me and the Black Avengers of Current Culture as we bring that fire discussing all the issues going on in America. Our man Jake, we know Duda is pushing him to be the new boss. He's got him a job working at his pizza spot. We've seen from the trailer Jake is going to be in the school with Kevin. And we also know that Jake was beloved by those people in that school just from him dancing, introducing different things to them. But what we don't know is who is going to be his organization. Is it any chance that Kevin is going to sign on to be part of Jake's organization? There could be. We do know that his boy Brandon is gone. He's in school with Jake. That's a surprise to us. We never thought Jake was going to wind up being at that school. And with him having lost his boy Brandon, he might see this as an opportunity to better his relationship with Jake make some money and do some things. I also think that what we're going to see happen with Jake in this season is going to also be a microcosm for my power fans of what you're going to see with Tariq in college. Somebody else that could possibly be a right hand man to Jake and his organization is homeboy that is standing here with Kevin. We already know homeboy ain't opposed to selling stuff based on what we've seen from season two of the shy. So we could easily see him decide he's going to be in business with Jake and help expand his crime organization. But also, are we going to see Reg's right hand man come in and help out Jake as well? I'm not sure, but I can't wait to see who's going to help Jake develop his organization. I seriously doubt if Papa is going to do it. And one thing that I've loved about this show is the great dynamic between Jake, Papa, and Kevin. We also know that agent, excuse me, detective Tucson Pitbull in the skirt is going to be highly involved as well. And is she going to be trying to put pressure on Jake in the same way she was putting pressure on Reg? I guess we'll all have to tune in to see. But I want you guys to leave me comments. How do you think that Jake's organization is going to grow and build? Who is Duda going to put in place to help protect Jake? And how will Kevin and Papa, Jake's friends, play a role in his organization if they play any? Drop me all your comments. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe. Check out Shop Life Games if you want to buy either one of those t-shirts. This is why he took a knee. I can't breathe. And be sure to tune in to me and the fellas tonight as we go over all the events that happened this weekend. And folks, it was a lot of stuff. And we're going to talk about it all uncut, uncensored, and raw. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.